The loss of language is still a major concern for Pacific communities. With another year of Language Week celebrations almost over, the Auckland University of Technology have produced a series of videos to promote these languages. In the past, um, lots of different cultural activities are done, which doesn't necessarily reach um, many people. And so doing um, the videos and encouraging um, our Pacific students to attempt to speak a language, even if they were not confident, um, was a great way to, to promote the language. Jackson Becerra says the series urged young people to get involved. The reality is not enough is being done for Pacific languages in New Zealand. There isn't a huge, and I guess it's also a New Zealand thing, there isn't a huge focus on learning a lot, another language, even from early childhood. Thankfully there's a bit more effort with um, Te Reo. But if you are a Pacific learner, the onus is on you and your family. But today a lot of our families and our young people are not exposed to languages. To me, doing the videos was a way to say, hey, let the debate rage on, but we still want to encourage young people to consider Pacific languages. The project also gave way for topical issues other than language to be addressed, like in the Tuvalu piece. You know, the question was, do we focus on language for Tuvalu or what is something topical or relevant to Tuvaluans today? And um, in the lead up to the Paris um, conference at the end of the year, um, I saw it as an opportunity to encourage and raise awareness about an issue. And that issue was climate change, which sparked interest in other Pacific youth. And one of these youngsters was AUT student Cynthia Patali, who featured in the video. Because I'm also a Pacifica student, and you know I understand what they're coming, f like what they're coming through, and um, also like it's it's uh, like it's good for us to uh, and, like understand like their background as well, and not also like um, for me, I'm someone I like I like to understand other cultures like in backgrounds and a lot of them actually said no I won't you know I will say what I want to say which was fantastic and and that really shown through with um, the Fiji video um, where most of the Fijians said this is what makes me Fijian this is what I'm going to say I'm like fantastic that's what it's about Tongan student Mabel Muller also understands the value of language I think language is a really precious commodity for any culture and in order to break down barriers between generations, between um, different cultures, we've got to know the language. You know, for language to die out, that's basically like the most important element of a culture. So once the language dies out, you know, everything else is going to follow. So yeah, really important. The series has also been popular on social media sites with over 64,000 views on Facebook alone. And it's not just shared in New Zealand, but it's also gone um, all over the world. Um, and, and to me, that's actually even more powerful because we have very transient communities. A lot of Pacific people live um, abroad. The last of the language weeks puts Tokelau in the spotlight starting this weekend. Alice Sakata for Pacific Media Watch.